If she had lived 100 years, it would have been too few. In a world where women are expected to comply, she said, I dissent. In a world where love has been kept in a box with rules, she said, I dissent. In a world where borders are drawn tighter and walls are built higher, she said, I dissent. In a world where fiction is told as truth and facts are twisted into lies, she said, I dissent. And so on a night when it feels like the pendulum has swung off its fulcrum, like there is no place to make a U-turn, like the darkness is winning, I will say, loudly, so as to convince myself, I dissent. For decades, she stared unafraid into the faces of misogyny, homophobia, xenophobia, and bigotry, daring them to blink. She wrote reams and spoke volumes and did push-ups while her detractors, I don't know, ate cheeseburgers or whatever. So because she did, I can. Because she did, I will. Tonight feels like the end of something, but it doesn't have to be. This is a moment that, instead of being the death of hope, can be the birth of a renewed zeal. Giving up feels very easy, even warranted, but it also feels disrespectful to her memory. We can take this moment and turn it into a movement. We can, like the notorious RBG, dissent. We can, like her, dissent until the very breath leaves our bodies. Thank you, Honorable Justice Ginsburg. You fought harder and longer than you should have had to for us, and we are so grateful. Rest well. You earned it. Oye, oye, oye. Tonight, we cry. But tomorrow, we rise.